Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. You know, I just posted a video regarding the fact that Elvis Dumerville has moved on and become a member of the Baltimore Ravens on a five-year deal. Uh, but the other part of the story is how this affects the Denver Broncos. I mean, going into the offseason, and even as of a week or two ago, um, they thought Elvis Dumerville would accept the restructure to $8 million for this coming season. And they'd still have, you know, their bookend pass rushers in Von Miller and Elvis Dumerville, who, let's face it, their defense was built around. Okay, now in a matter of a week, that plan has been turned upside down. Dumerville's moved on to the Ravens. Now, where do the Broncos go from here? I think natural, uh, sort of natural speculation is going to be that they make a move to try to bring Dwight Freeney in to team with, you know, old teammate Peyton Manning uh, and give them another pass rush option. Uh, you know, it's just, you know, I know he, he's not going to cost as much as a guy like Elvis Dumerville would, and maybe that would lead them to be able to make other moves on the defense as a result of that. Um, but you got to think, even if they landed Dwight Freeney or an outside chance, maybe they landed John Abraham or another one of these, um, you know, noted 4-3 pass rushers, uh, you would have to think that, you know, they're, they're stinging from this. And, uh, you know, it would have been so much different if they knew at the beginning of the offseason – Okay, that Doomerville, let's say, wasn't going to be willing to restructure. And let's say they release Doomerville. Now they have his cap room to go get someone else. Maybe they become players for a guy um, like a Paul Kruger, for instance. Uh, maybe they become more serious players for a guy like Cliff Averill. You know, this would have just completely changed uh, the way the Broncos went about the offseason. I mean, just think about Michael Bennett and Cliff Averill. Both at this point in their career, I think, are better options than a guy like a Dwight Freeney, for instance. And both of, the, both of them were off the board here, or off the free agent board, if you will, before all this stuff really hit the fan uh, with Doomerville. So, you know, I just think the timing of this is poor for the Broncos. You know, remember, the Broncos were 13-3, and three, uh, the number one seed in the AFC last year. And, you know, this is a team that needs to... Uh, get a replacement in there for Doomerville as quick as they can. And, you know, the, the obvious concern is, again, that they won't get someone to near the production or or the someone that will fear defenses like Doomerville did. But we'll see how the Broncos move on from here. Let me know how you think the Broncos should proceed. Do you want them to go out and get a guy like a Dwight Freeney or a John Abraham? Or, or do you maybe want to go see them go pass rusher in the draft? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. And guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I you know post between five and ten sports talk videos a day, most most of the time about the NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for listening, and have a great night.